Hello, and welcome back to Swanky Marts, my diamond paintings. Here we are on video two of the mushroom diamond painting, which I have completed, inserting all the gems. As you can see, it came out very well. I am in stores, but... I have the light on it here. And I'm just going through the finalization before I spray my glaze, which I will do two layers of spray. I will be spraying this on. This is one of the ones I've used. Uh, you can buy other ones, uh, brand, depending on your liking. Right now, I'm kind of still shopping around because I'm still new to this. Only been doing this since October of 2018, so only for a few months until I find the brand that I like and work with. I tried doing the Mod Pod um, paste where you paste it on, um, but I found I didn't like that because I really. I got too out of control with it and got too thick with some of it, so it didn't ruin my painting, but didn't, I didn't like the finalization of it. So I'm going to continue with the spray where I know I can control it and I know it's going to come out clear and whatnot. So as far as the setup on this here, I have taped it to cardboard box which I've laid flat um, this one I forgot to tape around I do suggest you tape around completely around the box as so that way it's not flimsy as you can see it's flimsy here it just gives it a little more sturdier it's up to you uh, also double check your painting one more time go through a quick scan. I use um, my reader's glasses just to make sure I go through just a quick scan and just make sure that if there's anything that needs to be shifted like this is a little little out of place you know a little too high and you know, just still shift them down but that's another reason why I like to do the spray because the spray gives it the thickness. The beads are in place. They're not going to move around. Also, what I recommend you doing is checking your edges, which is what I do here. Making sure that they're all pretty straight and you can just go down with your nail and push them in if need be over on the sides and then around here same thing because the glue is still pliable it's it's not you know set in stone also I go around the edge here which you'll notice down here some of particles have gotten on the glue which I can you can scrape away with well I had it now I don't know where I put it but it was with my oh my goodness gracious I lost what I was going to use <laughs> That's funny. Here it is. I use my tweezers that was given me in my my kit that I bought. And I usually just squeeze it together like this and I just scrape along the edge. See where the glue's picking up? 
and get all the little dirt off. I don't recommend using a knife because you might cut into your canvas. So this isn't like really sharp per se. But just to get it cleaned up because when I spray, once I spray, it's set. It's in there. There's no coming out unless I scrape it again and that might just cause more, more problems. So I'll go along the edge here, scrape this off, get rid of it, and usually get it into a ball, pick it up, and it just wipes off. So I'm going to go along and finish that, and then I'm going to give it um, two quick sprays. Um, what I'll do is I will spray it with one layer, it'll dry for 10 minutes, I'll spray with another layer because this is a triple thick crystal, so usually with a regular one, uh, uh, it's like three layers I put on, so, and this is some somewhere on here it says it dries in, in 10 minutes, so, oh, right there dries in minutes but I give it 10 minutes anyways just to make sure and then you know depending on the weather that you're working in try to spray when it's not windy try to spray when it's not excessively hot outside because I do live in the desert and it gets like 130 degrees out here so if you do do it in the middle of the day when, when it's hot you know anything above I would say 70 try to do it in the shade have um, something that uh, you're not also um, where there's a bunch of stuff flying around of course you can't get rid of lint dust that's everywhere no matter what but in a circulated place maybe a fan but don't turn on the fan till after you're done um, spraying that way the fan can osculate on it and uh, keep from anything settling on your wet spray also, uh, if you're in a cold area, cold climate, uh, that's fine too because it's, it's going to dry no matter what, cold. But again, make sure it's not windy because if it's windy, you never know. Uh, you can't control your spray. The spray is going everywhere. You're wasting spray. And then plus, uh, being windy, you don't know what's going to land on your painting well, when it's wet in a windy area. Okay, so that's it. I'm going to close it up here and we're going to move on to the spray and I will talk to you again in a few minutes. Thank you. Bye.